Hi everyone. My name is Rohini Vij and I'm a story educator. We all know that books are amazing. But did you know that reading to young children can significantly enhance their brain development? Yes. Research has shown that reading to young children has a profound impact on their cognitive development and overall brain function. I have come up with an acronym that will help you prepare well and conduct a good read aloud session. All you need to do is remember a simple word: pages. Yes. Where P stands for preview the book and prepare well. What you need to do is look at the illustrations, read the text and get a sense of the story's flow. This will help you feel more comfortable and confident while reading. Mark the words and phrases that you wish to focus on and identify the portions that have scope for dramatization. A stands for active engagement with your audience. For example, ask children to make animal sounds. Repeat a catchy phrase or participate in hand movements. This adds a lot of fun and an interactive element to the reading. G stands for gauge the audience reactions while reading a picture book. As you read aloud a picture book, pay attention to children's reactions and adjust your reading style accordingly. Some children may prefer a quieter and more soothing reading style. while others may enjoy a more animated energetic reading experience e stands for expressions focus on voice modulation incorporate character voices add body movements hand gestures if required and if it is possible for you try different voices for different characters or to emphasize certain parts of the story infuse emotions into your voice and bring the characters and events to life children enjoy hearing expressive and engaging readings and s stands for show pictures always remember to turn the book towards your audience and let them see the pictures point out details ask questions and encourage them to interact with the images the combination of words and pictures enhances their understanding as well as the enjoyment of the entire reading experience so remember while you're preparing for a read aloud simply keep pages in mind